the first book I got out of the library, as I pronounced it then, was the Magic Island. Uh, because I like books that have got magic in them. And uh, indeed, I'm like. Uh, yeah, exactly. On my 40th birthday, I decided to become a magician. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, everything I read. I used to look those old Galang, yellow spine, science fiction packs in a rocket. Uh, yeah, they were Ooh. wonderful. And all, all of the Axe Lovecraft books. I'm wearing an Axe Lovecraft t shirt here today. That's where I got my Lovecraft habit from, with the library. Everything. I used to read omnivorously. I read all the Billy Bunter books and the Amy Blyton books when I was younger. Stay around 26, 27, <laughs> you know, and uh, then I progressed to more elevated things after that. Friends, Alan, what's your, what's your favourite author? Who do you like reading? My favourite author is probably, I mean, that's asking a big question, but I'd probably say that if pushed, I'd say that it's my favourite contemporary living author in the English language is Ian Sinclair. Uh, he is completely incomprehensible to almost everybody who reads him. He, his books don't sell that well. That's because they're, they're so intense. He gets all this information into a page. And to properly understand it, it's beautifully written, but to properly understand it, you have to take a little bit of time over it. And I suspect that in a screen-driven age, increasingly people aren't prepared to spend time with information in the way that they perhaps used to do. But yeah, Ian Sinclair, he's 